a very quick set of silly questions, very quick uh, for you, uh, just combining fictitious worlds of economics and food. So please forgive me as I digress a little from the book and then I'll come back to my last couple of questions. Um, very quick question. What would you say were the favorite dish if you had to imagine in a fictitious world of the following economists? Uh, Adam Smith. I don't know. Boil lamb. <laughs> I think so. I think it's probably all he got back then. Yeah. He's Scottish. Uh, Boil lamb. Yeah. Um, and Karl Marx. What do you think was his favorite food? Venus is, uh, I think, uh, some, some, I mean, he's German. And, uh, yeah. you know, some of the height of German, you know, Venus, probably, you know, he had his maid make him Venus itself, uh, which he ate with some uh, nicely fatty potatoes uh, or, or, I don't know, uh, some, and some, uh, uh, maybe some sauerkraut. I, I, I'm just being completely uh, stereotyping. <laughs> it's you know. probably Shane exactly. loves Shane, Shane loves sauerkraut, so I, I will, so it's not it's not necessarily a bad thing. I actually I'm, like sauerkraut. I'm I'm quite sure that's exactly what you would eat. And a slight derivative of the question, but in many ways the same question. And I've just made a small list of French and Bengali celebrities, and in a fictitious dinner party involving these celebrities. If it was potluck, and it's totally up to you, uh, you don't have to mention all of them, but it's totally up to you, who would bring what? And uh, this is a dinner party that both of you are hosting, and your guests are Satyajit Ray, Napoleon Bonaparte, Rabindranath Tagore, and Jean Paul Sartre. So if these people attended a dinner party with the two of you, and it was potluck, and you told them bring something, who do you think would bring what? <laughs> Really, uh, I don't know. I'm not looking for. I mean, it would be nice to have them, but I, I, they are, I mean, at least I don't know so much about Napoleon, but the other three are such prissy characters. I mean, they are <laughs> wonderful. They're such talented people, but they're like so proper. You know, you know, Satyajit Ray will probably, I don't know, bring some thin chicken curry, and yes. uh, Ravindranath will probably, you know, bring a, 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 a plate of the dietetic. Uh, Sandesh, uh, you know something very. I don't, and Shane, what, what what do you think Satru would bring? What does a what does a prissy Frenchman? Yeah, bring? but I'm I'm a fan, but I'm I'm fundamentally terrible at jokes. So that's uh, <laughs> especially okay, especially I, I, like setup jokes, etc. I'm I'm so bad. I, I'm really worse than a uh, worse so, than a kid. So am I. Trust me. Trust me. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Sat. Sat will bring. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, a, 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 a salad with not too, not too much fat in it or something. And I don't know. Napoleon. Maybe he will bring some. He he seems to be more of a macho character. So maybe he'll bring some. Meat. And Corsica they eat a lot of meat. So he'll provide yeah, the meat. Right. So I'm I'm ho hopeful that. At least what Napoleon will bring will be, I mean, I think what Satsuji Ray will bring will be very del delicate, tasty, uh, but slightly on the, on the uh, let's say, bloodless side, side, side of, of... Like what his characters eat in the films, you know, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of food in his films, in Tagore's books. And this is a question uh, that I've been told to ask by my editor at the Economic Times. So, you know, I'm admitting Mia Kalpa right away. Uh, and the question is, uh, if you had Prime Minister Modi and the governor of the Reserve Bank of India for, over for dinner, what would you cook for them? Oh, I think there I've, I've actually been asked this question before, and I know that I would cook Bengali vegetarian food. I think it would be, it's so wonderful and it's so un, unknown. In some sense, people think, you know, Bengalis will eat madhbhat. But in fact, I think this stunning part of Bengali cuisine is often just the range of vegetables, you know, whatever is on in the market, you go buy it and you make something fresh and with so many different kinds of flavors. So I, Bengali vegetarian food, is very, that's very easy. A, a nice dal, some vegetarian food, um, I think that would be easy and I think they'll enjoy it actually. Yeah, and such a range 
with Posto and Shukto. There's such a range now. Mm -hmm. with, uh, exactly, exactly. And this is my last question for both of you. Um, and I don't know why this is the case, but it seems to be the case. Uh, both French and Bengalis are very proud of their food and their culture, but they're also extremely opinionated people um, in that they think Me every... opinionated. <laughs> the people as a whole, sir, you're just you as a part of the whole, sir. Uh, and just this idea that every other, you know, every other food and culture is a little bit less, you know, that they, that they're, they're a little less sophisticated. Um, do you think that that is a bond between French and Bengalis that what that it's our intellectual superiority, apart from the fact that neither of us want to work and we're lazy and we like strikes and that kind of thing. That what, <laughs> what, what, what what this idea of, you know, the Larus the Larus gastronomic uh, is a big French cookbook. Um, the Bengalis have their own written cookbook, very similar. Um, so do you think that that is you know that that it's not there are very few cultures that bind like that like the french and bengalis i think we would be i think we are really united by the fact that we can talk about food before eating dinner like extensively then during dinner having the food right in our mouth and yeah. then after dinner talking so it's it's a it's a never ending uh, loop of just talking about food and and perhaps the, the also the the precise details of food, just like just like when you enter in a in a, a cheese cheese shop in a, in Paris, and everything will be. It, uh, th there was this guy who asked for uh, yeah one cheese, but not too hard, not too soft. So really going in the very detail of the food. I I think that's uh, that's really a binding. Uh, French and Bengalis. Perhaps. Yeah, and, and do you think that's true for us, sir, as well? Because you'll see a Bengali man walking into a, a Mishti Dokan and he'll begin by saying the 20 things he does not want. Yeah, <laughs> and not only that, you will ask, when was this Sandesh made? Uh, you know, uh, is, it, is it from the, the morning Sundesh or is, the, is it the thing that looks like lasagna and it is fried and the, the thing no, I think no, 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 it's not fried. It's, it's not fried. It's that's that's uh, that's uh, shorba, yeah. But the thing ah, that are the, the flat uh, kind of oh, okay. like uh, I don't know. They look usually rectangular or uh, you know um, oval shaped uh, things made as you know from uh, <laughs> milk, milk and, and sugar. sugar. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, Bengali will enter and say. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. When, when was it made? Uh, Specific. From, uh, yeah. from the morning. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, what did you, what's what from the afternoon? And it's like, uh, and it's, uh, you know, it has to be fresh, 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 fresh. Yeah. And no, or not, not. Yeah. And, and the hatred for a place, if its standards have fallen, say a Mishti Pakistan, yeah. is vehement. Like it's not, yeah. I don't go to this place anymore. It is a kind of, vitriolic bile against that place. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And here is my last, last question for... you like a photographer. <laughs> I keep saying there's a last question and I keep going on with this. But I assure you, this is my last one. Because no worries. I, I'm enjoying it very much. I'm so ashamed. So. It's a 500-year-old yeah. raging debate and I'm hoping it will get solved right now. And, uh, and only... Uh, you know, someone of your genius can solve it. Mm -hmm. Sir, every part of India thinks they have the best biryani. Mm. Uh, you know, all the way from the great timer of Uzbekistan to Wajid Ali Shah, every biryani is now sort of divided in India into, say, five or six big biryanis. Mm. We in Calcutta think we have the best. Hyderabad thinks they have the best. Delhi thinks theirs is the greatest. Um, Bombay thinks they have a Jaffar biryani, it's supposed to be outstanding. The Kashmiri Sindhi, Sindhi biryani is lovely. Sindhis think their biryani is the best. Um, now, I, I have never actually encountered, you know, a, a man of your intellect, sir. I was hoping that you would end this for, for the nation and for all audiences everywhere. Which is the greatest biryani of India? 
I won't end it for for. Uh, I think it, it, it needs it needs it. I, I you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, my my. I'll say one thing though. I think that this is the wrong question. It's the wrong question because biryani. Sometimes you want a lighter biryani. Yeah. Uh, to eat with, like in the south, they will often serve biryani with a sauce. Yes. And that's, so the idea that you have an overpoweringly saffron dish, then you eat it because sauce is less sensible uh, yeah. because then it overpowers. So you, you know, you want to, the biryani has a purpose. It is, it's as uh, going back to what we said right at the beginning, it's a part of the narrative of the meal. And sometimes the narrative of the meal calls for a uh, big bang biryani. And sometimes it calls for a uh, lighter biryani. And uh, you know, and so, and and sometimes it's celebration of something. You know, we don't have money. Uh, I remember we used to, you know, the 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 most delicious thing in a Bengali biryani is the potato. The potato has been absolutely imbued with all the uh, yeah. That's the masterpiece of the Bengali biryani. The Calcutta biryani, you know, the Bengali biryani is is the potato. And that's a, that, and you look for the. You were lucky if you got the potato rather than the meat. And, uh, and yeah. that's a, that's a, So in some sense, it's it's what social purpose it serves. What, where is it in the in that arc of the meal? There you go. I I think that this answers it. I think all the biryanis in India need to live with each other in harmony. <laughs> is the answer. Mm -hmm. Both of you, thank you so so much for your time. I wish thank you. Thank you. That was wonderful. Uh, so, Livia, thank, thank you so much, both of you. Thank you. thank you very much. It was wonderful. Thank you.